I think the first time I ever heard New York State of Mind by Billy Joel was the first time I, you know, just had the thought that, wow, it's so easy to sing the name of your city or sing about your city, you know, living in the West, right? Because the names just kind of, you can, they can roll off the tongue. Can't really do it in India. And I always used to be like, shit, man, you know, that would be amazing to be able to sing about uh, a place from India. And I didn't think it was possible because, you know, just the names are so complicated and they don't, it just doesn't sound right. And I was just like, or at least that's what I thought back then. Of course, the bigger issue was that I wasn't really kind of belonging to any one place enough to be able to write about it. Um, people know I've kind of grown up in Dubai. I was there for 18 years and and then I moved to Pune and I was there and I studied and worked and then I moved to Bombay and I've always felt like, okay, cool, I'm not from Kerala because my parents really didn't even live in Kerala. Uh, I'm not Malayali, I'm not... I was born in Hyderabad, visited there as a kid, but not really, oh, you know, culturally aware of what that's like. Um, you know, grew up in Dubai, worked in Pune, now moved to Bombay. It was the first time I ever felt like, oh, okay, cool, there's definitely something to write about here. And also back then at the time, I was not proficient enough for songwriter. I was still figuring out how to write songs. I think uh, this song came at a really right time where I figured out that, okay, cool, maybe there is something to say and uh, and I f- kind of feel like I'm starting to belong to this city a little bit more. At least that's what I'd like, which uh, weighs heavily in contrast to Adil and JJ, my bandmates, who obviously are from Bombay. So, so Bombay is the best city for me because it's the only place I can have ever called home. Uh, I learned everything about being a human being and being a musician. Thanks to all the you know people around me in the city and the different opportunities that came by. To have been born and raised in Bombay has been a sheer pleasure for me. I mean, lots of people complain about the city, but I'm a huge, 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 huge fan of Bombay City. It's always been a comfortable place. It's always been a welcoming place for me. Uh, it gets chaotic and tiring sometimes, but I guess I enjoy that. So, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a land of tremendous opportunity. There's... There's the worst possible situations you can find in and the best. And I think it's important to go through both of those just to really understand like how things work and what disappointment is like, what success is like, how to deal with people, those kind of things. I don't know what Bombay Doors is about, actually. I just I just always assume that it's about like, living in Bombay city. I mean, I, I mean, that's my interpretation of it. Sorry. I don't know what they just means uh, to say by it. I, the Bombay Doors uh, is about living in Bombay and living the hustle that is Bombay and trying to stay relevant, fighting through the everydayness of Bombay because that's, it's the most unpredictable at times. Like you never know when sometimes things just don't work out or like things get cancelled on you and it's uh, it's erratic and it's competitive and it's a ticking time bomb and everyone's trying to make it so you just have to stay on the ball. Well, the interesting thing is that the title The Bombay Doors uh, actually comes from uh, something I was reading about on all like military aircrafts have a payload delivery mechanism uh, which is literally called uh, Bombay Doors like B-O-M-B-B-A-Y Doors. And uh, it just opens up underneath the aircraft and that's how they deliver the payloads. And I was just like, wow, that's such an interesting visual concept for me because it almost feels like the city takes like a beating, you know, like every day. I mean, it's just the chaos of Bombay City, you know, sonically speaking also, that was the aim of it. It's like, it's from like, like kind of like synthy rock funk. A little bit of the old slap pop to like some like lo-fi R&B in the middle of the song and then towards the end of the song it's it's just it's just what Bombay City is it's almost like if you're like trying to navigate uh, your way around like Bandra you think every street is the same and then suddenly there's like a one way and in a way the the riffs in the in the verses they have this kind of confusing nature about it, which is very, 
very similar to the infrastructure of old Bombay. Yeah. I mean, obviously, sonically, Adil JJ and I really work well together now because we've been in a band together for many years. But and I'm super lucky to have them because. Uh, I think the underlying word was chaos, uh, you know, because there's so many different genres in this song and we just thought, oh, okay, cool, let's try and let's see where the song takes us. And that's usually my process where I just write and I write and I write and then I see how is the song going to reflect the the theme or the concept, like conceptually, how is it going to be reflected in the music, not just the words. And of course, the words are important, but the music was really important to me and it really had to reflect that, that idea of Bombay. There's obviously a lot of people on backing vocals. Actually, no, wait. It was only us on backing vocals. Yeah, it was me singing. Yeah, my contribution to backing vocals in this song. Wow. Like, ah, I think there's always one Teja song in every album which I like to like throw my voice in. I don't know how that happens. I wrote this song maybe two or three years ago and then, you know, Adil, JJ and I have been putting it together over the course of the last few years. And it's been an interesting process, but like there's so many things that have happened in the city like, literally since then. I mean, the fact that there's a pandemic going on right now uh, cannot not be addressed. Um, and it's insane that, you know, while I'm struggling to stay here, there's so many people who are leaving and, 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 and basically, you know, people who move to Bombay are moving back home. And obviously there's no shame in that. And there's, you know, it's tough. It's really difficult. Uh, it's upsetting because it's really messing with um, everyone's flow and the, all the work that they've put in to reach this, this point. Because I know a lot of people have come in here from either Delhi or Calcutta and Bangalore and stuff. And then... They've come here with a specific goal of trying to get out there, trying to play with as many people, trying to make this a career and at the same time sustain themselves, pay rent, uh, which is not easy, especially since if you're not from here because it's another layer of stress on you. But but at the end of the day, I think it's a good thing they get to spend time with their families. Uh, they are coming back now slowly uh, because I feel like they do realize that, you know, if anywhere the opportunities start opening up quicker than any other place, it's going to be Bombay City. Uh, I hope you guys um, enjoy the song. We've worked really hard on it and it's kind of different, I'd say, for me. If I go out and say, oh man, I'm so proud that I can truly put something different across there, that kind of, kind of comes across as a bit <laughs> arrogant. Uh, I think everybody's making amazing music. Uh, I just wanted to do something that was different for me. We've... Uh tried stuff we've thrown a lot of stuff out of the window it's been in the works for a long 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 time and like seriously in the works for a long time and it's it's a good thing for people to i mean especially musicians and producers if you have the opportunity to do it is give the song its time and uh, i feel like because we've given it its due course and let it run its due course sometimes yes you lose momentum and you get bored with it but sometimes you get bombay doors I don't know why, sometimes I feel like it might be divisive, you know, people like the bops, you know, people like the, the pop stuff, but this is kind of doing a little more than uh, my music has done before, and uh, and it's cool because it feels like this is where my music was always supposed to go, and you know, like, where I want to be ambitious, and I want to make it complex, but I also want to make it enjoyable and fun, and you can believe that when we do play this live, it's going to be alright, it's going to be great. Thank you for being you. You know why you're here, because you like something that's happening in this. Uh, take responsibility for your own decisions and make other people listen to this music against their will. I hope uh, you guys stick around for the next few songs, uh, which we will release from Outlast, uh, the album. More about that later, but for now, um, The Bombay Doors. I hope you enjoy. Tomorrow. Won't pass the test, won't let me out, come let me out, give me tomorrow.